the only things I don't like about having real arcades is the paranoia all the time of things breaking. And for me, um, out of all games, Mortal Kombat 1 is the game that I have to have the arcade. Even as good as MAME has gotten, it's still not right. So, this is like... <laughs> yeah, MK2, I'm okay with emulation, KI, all that stuff, but not MK1. Alright, we'll give it a go. <laughs> Hopefully we can make it. So this will be a bit of a casual playthrough. Don't expect double flawless, perfect runs, any of that stuff. I already played as Johnny Cage. I didn't play all the way through with him. I made it to the end and accidentally picked Sub-Zero. I was playing on player two side, so I guess I'll start with Kano. Kano. And I probably won't ramble through the whole thing, but a majority of it, I'm sure. So Kano was actually, at the time, he would have been my second or third favorite. So Sub-Zero was my, my main dude. The Scorpion probably right behind him, but the thing that Kano had was uh, the gory fatality that, that Scorpion didn't have. But, and I love, uh, yeah, I just love his look in the first one. I'm trying to set up something down here. There we go. I love him in the first one. I, I like the way he plays in MK3. But I didn't like his look as much. With the uh, the black with the red trim and uh, I don't know, it looked, it looked a little bit more like a superhero than just a uh, a criminal. Like just this plain white with the belt that he's got and the knives and Yeah, he just looks he looks mean in this one man. And uh, that's something that's um, a bit disappointing with the Mortal Kombat 2023, aka Mortal Kombat 1, with the cameos. They've, it's really cool, they've got like the classic costumes. So we've seen MK2 Jax and MK2 Kung Lao and MK1 Sonya and Kano, but my, my gripe is not Kano's outfit, but the fact that they've got him bald like Mr. Clean. I'm talking like, that dude just got done shaving his head and his face and everything. And that's not what Kano looks like in the original. Like the guy who played him, Richard DeVizio, was balding at the time, but he wasn't bald. Like, that is not a shiny chrome dome right there. Um, yeah, and him having this, like this scruff, it just, I don't know, it just, it looks cooler to me. I'll try to do something dumb with the fatality here in a second. Kato wins. Fatality. So there's a way to make the heart where it's offset from his hand. Because I recently posted a video showing like, sub your spine rip, how it can be, the head can be floating away from him. So I, I figured that out based off of um, finding this one, you know. Since there's only one fatality for each character, like the whole idea was to come up with more setups for them or just weird reactions that could happen. So, well, I'm gonna knock him into the pit because the pit's, this is the greatest one ever, man. Like, and I'll tell you what's so cool about this pit, not only that you just uppercut them and I think it looks better than, than the rest of them, uh, it's the fact that it's the only organic pit there is, other than the Deadpool. Right, this one you uppercut him and he just lands wherever he lands. In um, MK2, right, when he falls, it looks the same every time. I love that pit, don't get me wrong, okay? Well, I guess MK3, MK3 they fall wherever you knock them, right? But MK3 and that bell tower, like, I don't know, it's just not as cool. But the remakes of the actual pit, like in um, Mortal Kombat Deception, or MK9, or MKX, 
it's all it's a scripted thing. Like every time you fall off, it doesn't matter if you're on the far right side, left, the center, whatever. Um, yeah, you end up in the same spot. So it, uh, it just feels like a scripted scene. I don't know. I like it. Not enough time. Oh, there was. Alright, you see how the heart's hanging over his head instead? Fatality. So whenever it says finish him, you can throw him, and the throw doesn't count as a, a hit for some reason, so you're still allowed to do a fatality. So, when you toss him in the corner, stand right above him, then, yeah, the graphics get uh, all center from each other. I can't believe I've already made the Johnny Cage. <laughs> I feel like I just started this. Alright. Um, so yeah, the thing you can do with Johnny Cage. It's over and over again. I'm trying to do a late fatality. Oh, I pressed it right on it, but it's just too late. So if you press the button for the fatality right when it's your fatality time's over. It, it's nothing special, but it, it, it's kind of cool. It'll already say Kano wins before he's even started doing the fatality. Um, yeah. And I love this knife, man. This knife is so cool in this one. That was another uh, little nitpick I had with MP3. Which it was more like just a, a Star Wars energy blast when it hit him. It looked fine, but it was like, man, we're going for this. With this hard impact and all this blood gushing out. Uh, <laughs> and it was just kind of like you're throwing these uh, proton daggers. Uh, that's just way cooler. Oh yeah, and the headbutt, dude. I don't know if I'll be able to get it this late in the game. The computer's gonna be uh, kicking my ass at this point, but... Oh, I can't block that. I might have could have done a sweep, I don't know, to avoid that. I need to really stop some stuff. Some up punches in the corner. Kind of look like sweep's gonna avoid that. You can run the timeout if you just do this to stop, but we won't do that. There we go. So, what I did there is, it's a jump in punch, and you, so I, I did that with low punch and instantly did the fatality. So, but you, you do it really late, so you're touching, almost touching the ground when you hit them. So that when you execute the fatality, the game knows you're close enough, but then the opponent's getting pushed back. It's just fun stuff. Like, this is something you can only do in MK1 because this one, uh, I don't, I think I'm right about this. Ever since MK2, there's a slight delay. When it says finish him, you can't do fatalities instantly. Which I always hated because I was always like, I was ready, man. I was ready to bust that fatality out right away. And, uh, yeah, they always put this little delay. So that would happen in the newer games too, man. I'm like, I've already inputted the, the fatality right after the punch, and it's like, nah, we're not ready for it yet. <laughs> like, come on, man, let me do this right away. But because of that, you can do some uh, like instant fatalities, man. You saw in the beginning where I was, I was pressing low punch and just rotating forward to, to pull it off. Been talking about that, that would get me onto the subject of uh, just fatality time window anyway. I absolutely hate it whenever they decided to take fatality time from like three seconds or whatever to like three minutes. I know I'm exaggerating, but man, dude, I hate it. I hate it when somebody can go to the command list, look it up, come back and pull it off before they fall over. To me, at that point, like, what's the point of the moves being, uh, what's the point of it at that point? Like, just have it where it's, you press one of the face buttons and it does it for you. The only reason I survived that is because her leg grab doesn't do chip damage because the, yeah, the damage off of that leg grab is only the slam itself. And Sub-Zero, same. It's ice doesn't do chip. 
because the ice doesn't do damage, so. Uh, yeah, man, I hated that. I was like, the whole, for me anyway. All right. I get what they were doing. They were like, oh, well, not everybody can pull off fatalities. We want people to have fun. Okay, that's that's cool, but, like, it's not exciting if you, if you pull this stuff off on the first try. I, I know that firsthand, right? Uh, my girlfriend was trying to play some work on my two, and I was teaching her. She wanted to know Luke Kane's Dragon Bite, down forward, back, back, high kick. Well, she, she wasn't doing that the first time, right? You get like two seconds to do it. So, right, as soon as it says finish him, there's this moment of like, oh crap, it's time. Well, what was it? You know? And then after, by the time you re remember what, what it was, it's like, okay, it's over. Well, that, that took her several tries to try and get, and then when she finally pulled that move off, it was like, that was a really exciting moment, because it's like, oh crap, I did it. And that's, that's one of the things at Halo games, that, that you're kind of, um, you know, everybody's a winner, like, right out the gate. It's like, there's nothing to try to achieve. You know, this is just my perspective, it's somebody coming from playing these games when I was 10 and 11, but, I don't know, man. <laughs> like, put a, put a little effort into it. But yeah, I hated that stuff. Because to me, the whole point of the fatality was like, if somebody was pulling them off, it was because uh, they knew what they were doing. Right? They, they, you don't have time to look up the fatalities. You already had to know, and you had to be in the right spot, and you had to be able to pull it off. But now it's like, if somebody does a fatality, it's like, okay. <laughs> so? You got to try it 14 times in a row, and it happened? Oh, how impressive. <laughs> you know. So that's where brutalities, as they call them in the new games, have uh, become the more impressive feat. And it's like, oh, okay, you gotta set up all this stuff. But, I don't know. I just think this stuff's cooler. And I think one of the, the things I really liked about the old fatalities is it felt like a, an actual move you were doing that took place exactly where you were at the time. And then uh, later on in the series, it became more of a enter a passcode to watch a cutscene. And it, 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 there's a, a little bit of a disconnect there for me. It doesn't feel like it's happening in the moment, which I think is what made those brutalities feel so good. It's like, it's on screen, right where you were. It's just like an extra move you did. It's great. I'm in a bad spot right here. All right, I need to focus and uh, set up some uh, some BS. I'm on too much autopilot here. Let me get him to do some freeze. And, uh, hold on. Come on. Terrible. Man, this is not going well. Of course, I started a video where I'm gonna be rambling the whole time, and then now I'm gonna have to get to doing dumb jump kicks because I've been goofing off too much. I hate doing this, man. This is just the worst. But we're on round three, and I don't need to continue twice, so... There's a lot of stuff you can do in these games where you can win, like... If you pace your high punches just a little slow, you can uh, keep it from knocking the opponent back and you can drain their entire health bar. You do the same thing in MK2. So, yeah, you can beat people by just... It, it's a little tricky to do, actually, but... I mean, you, there's all kinds of stuff you can do, but I try to not do that stuff too much because... Honestly, I don't find it to be that fun. Like, I can do this, right? We just drain his health bar. Instantly jump like this. Now that's what I want to see. Some of that. <laughs> Some of that corner action. Oh, man. That stuff's fun. That's what made uh, Johnny Cage, Kano, and Raiden so good. It's, you can... On the way up, you can do a, a punch and it'll it connect. You can't do that with uh, the other four, Luke Kang, Scorpion, Sub-Zero, Sonya. The punches come out too late and they're not angled properly for it. Uh, you can catch it off as jump kick too. Uh, messing it up. I gotta make sure not to throw it late. Don't freeze me. Oh, 
Oh, there he goes. Kato wins. Fatality. Oh, boy. See when Captain with a jump on his Oh, that's not right. <laughs> this dude, man, brutal. This dude is brutal. So you can get him with the jump punches, you get him in the corner. My guy's doing with Johnny Cage, I don't know how that missed me. He's gonna get this one probably, but yeah. Let's see if we can put him in the corner. I said it before, man, I just love this so much. Like the stage are in, the music, the this dude's growling. Yeah, there you go. So Johnny, Kato, and Raiden, you can do that. But I don't, I don't like to do that though. So we'll, we'll try. But I'll probably get, I'll probably regret that decision. Ooh. There we go. There we go. Oh no. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! All right. Love Shang Tsung, man. And I know I've mentioned it. I've mentioned this before in videos. I'll probably say it every time, but I just love the fact that Goro and Shang Tsung, you're fighting on the exact same stage, but we've got different music. You know, like there's a there's a default Goro's layer stage music for just fighting regular characters. I think Goro's got his music that it also plays in the intro to the game when it shows him. And then this is the music that's on the throne room stage with Shang Tsung in the background. Good, like, I love MK2, man. You guys gotta understand that. When, anytime I say something about MK1, me liking it more than MK2, understand I'm talking about like 99.9 .9 being more than 99.89. Okay? <laughs> but it's elements like that, like the intensity of Shang Tsung being defeated, this music right here, the test your might, Goro, all that stuff, man, the endurance matches. I was just, so mostly I'm talking about single player because that's how I play these games all the time. Uh, very rarely playing one v one. Because when it comes to one v one, like I, I have more fun than MK2. Hitting random selects, man. Running, sh playing Shang Tsung, all that stuff. But uh, yeah, this is this is my favorite Mortal Kombat to play single player. I think. I really have a lot of fun in Vanilla MK3, MK4, and MK9. So I have a lot of fun with those two. Although MK9, man, that 2v2 against the computer, that's fun. I wish they'd bring that back. Like these cameos seem okay in the new game, but I love this. Ah, I love to see 2v2, man. Tell me, ah, it wasn't very popular, but okay. I think it's fun. I love tagging games. I don't like it to be forced, but most games with tag mode, you can still play 1v1. Even Tech and Tag, it's in the name. Tech and Tag, you can still play one on one. Anyway, lots of rambling, man. But, you know, I figure if. If you want to just watch a playthrough of Mortal Kombat, like there's there's people that do gameplay playthroughs, no commentary. So um, what makes mine different? I'm rambling about it. <laughs> I don't know. I somehow like I like hearing other people's take on things or what their story is. So hopefully uh, my ramblings have been enjoyable to some degree. So, all right, let's see if we get. Uh, 
I'm still waiting one time to be recording and get the alternate game over screen. I've caught it probably once on camera. It's where it shows the, the pit. It starts at the bottom and goes up. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time.